Monday, you're watching The One Show live on BBC One and I play with Jermaine Genius. And Alex Jones. Uh, now, last night, the highly anticipated new Star Wars series, The Acolyte, had its big UK premiere with its creator describing it as Kill Bill meets Frozen. What a combo. That is a combo. Um, and tonight, we'll be joined by two of its stars, Amanda Stenberg and Daphne Keane, to find out what it was like fighting a Matrix icon and attending something you'd love, yes. Jedi School. Get me there instantly. Mm. Uh, and as it's Wednesday, we're joined by our very own watchdog, Jedi Master, Matt Altwright. Now it's time to venture into a galaxy far, far away to talk about the new Star Wars series. You're very excited, aren't I you? Am indeed. The Acolyte. Uh, in just a moment, we'll be joined by two of its stars. But first, this is why it's one of the most anticipated shows of the year. Jedi are being hunted. She was my student. I trained her. Let me be the one to bring her in. I sense this is only a small part of a larger plan. Some sort of shift to tip the scales. What are you? Anna Mandela Stenberg and Daphne Keen join us now! Hello, ladies! <laughs> Well, Amanda, it's already congratulations because oh, you've had you. rave reviews. Oh, Brilliant. thanks. <laughs> um, lots of people, though, this is interesting, have described this new series as a mixture between Kill Bill and Frozen, oh, which is yeah. quite the combo. Mm -hmm. Would you agree? And how on earth <laughs> do happen? you mix is that those possible? two? Yeah. <laughs> um, I would agree. That was Leslie Headlands, our showrunner's original pitch um, to Lucasfilm. And I think what she means by that is it is a very harrowing family drama because that's what Star Wars is about. It's always about daddy issues. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's also, uh, there's a lot of martial arts. Um, mm. There's a lot of like fast paced action sequences and it's a murder mystery. And revenge. And revenge. And revenge. Always revenge. Always about revenge. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, Daphne, you play uh, Jackie, a new Jedi character. Now, I hear you had to go to, like, a Jedi school. Yeah. Like, what was on, what's on the syllabus at a Jedi school? Give us um, some information. A lot of sabre work. We had force training, which is really weird, which is that just, like, you go in this room with this woman, go in this room with this woman called Alex, and she just teaches you how to, like, do this, basically, but make it look cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and she's like, and you're pulling the force from the ground, and you're like, yeah, Alex, OK. <laughs> it's really weird. And then you do, like, four hours a day of just you with sticks hitting things. It was really fun. It was actually really interesting and fascinating, and I really loved the whole physical process of nice. it. Yeah. This is a lot of grown men's dreams, I mean, isn't it, to I'm, go to Jedi school? You'd be there in a heartbeat. hundred percent. Can't get, get into actual school, anytime. but Jedi yeah. school. Get him yes. with Alex. That's out of order. <laughs> That's out of order. <laughs> <laughs> Scandalous. Um, Amanda, oh. not much is known about your character, May, but we do know she's a fighter. Yes. Isn't she? Now, yes. she was fighting with a legend, the Matrix legend, Carrie Ann Moss. Mm -hmm. Tell us about those scenes. How, do, how, how was that? Um, I mean, it was an incredible experience to fight against Carrie Ann Moss, Trinity of the Matrix. It's yeah. like, well, it's terrifying. <laughs> I didn't uh, really imagine myself ever in that position, but. You know, we got really close when we were trying to kill each other. When we were in the tent, she would, you know, be doing Reiki on different parts of my body. Oh. Like, she's a really spiritually attuned, beautiful person. We would sing songs together. Um, and then we would go and, like, you know, throw knives at each other. And it really bonded us. <laughs> yeah. Bonded. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> uh, now, Daphne, Star Wars fans are very excited uh, about a particular addition to the cast. Um, oh, yeah. He's very hairy. He's nearly seven foot tall. No, it's not Stephen Merchant. Yeah. Tell us who it is, though. It could have been. I know. Get you in for season two. Thank you. So, season two. I'll put a good word in for you. Um, it, we have the first live action Jedi Wookiee, which is pretty cool. That is cool. Oh. Yeah, which was surreal as well. He was in Jedi training with me, and this seven foot tall man called Jonas walked in and he just he had an extra long saber, which is pretty cool. I had an extra short one because I am not seven foot, I am five foot two. <laughs> Which is, was not cool. I kept I actually kept. I got given a normal saber and it kept hitting the ground. It was really embarrassing. Yeah. I did not look cool. <laughs> but Jonas looked sick and he had the suit on and, and I got to. Yeah, he did some cool stuff in it. It's big news. Yeah, I didn't know that they would adjust the length of a saber to suit. I said didn't either. Actor. 
until I very mm. embarrassingly kept hitting it on the ground. Nice. Yeah. Mm. Now, you two know each other, of course, yeah. because yeah. you were in Logan, in Marvel Logan mm. together. Right. We have got a brilliant picture of you, Stephen. Yes. Oh, hot. Wow. I That's know. Thank you. <laughs> that is that Look at together. that. Yes. Yeah. They, yeah. I, they, they just were looking for a guy who needed very little makeup. <laughs> <laughs> was he willing to shave his head? Yes. Then that yeah. was a job done. But for Marvel. And I just showed up. It yes. saved them a fortune on the CGI. But oh. you had one of the coolest lines in the whole film. Go on. Beware the light. Was Beware of the light? Yes, yeah. I can't remember. I've yeah. done a lot since I remember that because I was that line <laughs> as a yeah. I remember that line because I was an eleven year old I was like so sick. So well, cool. that's the thing. So when we worked together, Daphne was only 11. Yeah. yeah. She was an absolute monster. <laughs> she was the worst. No, she was one of those terrible, terrible Such people. Deep, yeah. No, no, she yeah. was incredible. I mean, for someone who was so young, and she was basically carrying the film with Hugh Jackman, and he did an extraordinary job. So professional, so on yeah. it, so talented, charismatic. It was, it was remarkable to watch, yeah. So I just hope you're as good in this new Star Wars thing. <laughs> I guess I'm not. I think it's for sure, yeah. Yeah, now, big up, yeah. We heard Love that, it. Eleanor, you have got quite... A brilliant anecdote, uh, Star yeah. Wars related. <gasps> Would you like to share with oh, the yeah. group? Please. I can't think of anything I'd like more. <laughs> okay, um, brilliant. I, I haven't seen Star Wars. I have seen Logan That's and you okay. were so great. You know? <laughs> and you were, you were fine. Um, he was yeah, great. I, Stop he it. Was great. He was great. <laughs> oh, all right, gang up on me. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I did a game recently, a motion capture game, and uh, I didn't see the call sheet before I was called in, so I didn't know who was going to be there. And yeah. I'm sitting in the like green room with this uh, very, very charming actor, and uh, and we start talking. And he says, you know, have you done this before? And I was like, no, have you? He's like, yeah, yeah, I've done quite a lot of motion capture. You know, I've done quite a lot of CGI. I was like, oh, what have you done? He was like, darling, I'm Mark Hamill. <laughs> and I was like. <gasps> No, oh, no way. There is like, no way. Hello. Wow. Oh. Oh. You nice didn't recognise Mark Hamill? No, but, uh, you know. That's I'm awkward. Sorry. Eleanor, that that's is bad. I love yeah. you even more for sharing. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. That was very brave, yeah. by the way. I just way. like the one-liner um, darling on Mark Hamill. Say, I know, yeah. right? <laughs> the Acolyte streams on Disney Plus from next Wednesday. Uh, well, that's all we've got time for tonight, so thank you very much, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>